It's so hard to win on senior day. So I talked to a couple of the non-seniors before the game and told them to make sure that the seniors stay on track. You know, there's so many emotions that go on on senior day with kids playing their last game here. You, you lose sight of playing baseball. And I think our non-seniors really helped the, the older kids keep their emotions in check and stay focused on baseball because that was a that was a great performance by us offensively for sure. Coach, I'll, I'll go ahead. This, this whole weekend, I mean, top 20 pitching staff, double-digit hits for you every game. Yeah, I mean, that, that says a lot about uh, what we've got going on right now. You know, we're going to, no matter who we play or where we play, and we're going to feel confident going into the game because those, I mean, like you said, we've got a lot of hits off some great pitching. So uh, uh, our kids are, are growing up. They're getting mature at home plate, and they're learning how to pick the right pitches, and we get a lot of extra base hits, and it's, it's kind of why we're having success right now. Coach, about that moment there at the end, you guys all uh, together singing Country Rose. What did that mean to you and to this team? Well, you know, we uh, before the season started, we did that, and we were saving it for the right moment, you know, and that was that's just a, a perfect time to do it, you know, with the last game ever on this field. And, uh, you know, just the unbelievable crowd, and they're up there singing, and, you know, Somehow you got to thank everybody for coming, and that's about the only way you can do it. You started to get a sense as this one was going on, you know, some, something special. I mean, they're taking advantage of this moment. No. no <laughs> as a coach, you know, with the wind blowing out so hard in left field, and, you know, no lead is ever safe with the wind blowing out like this. So a game like this, you never feel good about it until, uh, until the last out's recorded. Even guys in the dugout were getting excited on that last fly ball, but I didn't get excited until it went in the glove, you know, because you never know what can happen. Baseball's a crazy game, and a lot of runs were scored today, so uh, we had to keep scoring and scoring and scoring, so uh, it, it was a great, great offensive day for us. You only had him for two years. Can you talk a little bit about what he's meant to the team? Yeah, he's one of the first guys I, I talked to when I got this job, and, you know, people ask me about him all the time. He's the He's the kid on the team you you want your daughter to marry. You know, he's such a nice kid. And, she's too young. Yeah, she's way too young. <laughs> that was that was being facetious. But uh, he's an unbelievable person. He has a great family. He's a great student. Uh, he's a great player, obviously. He turned down a nice contract uh, with the Royals last year to come back. And he's very deserving of all the accolades he's getting. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, sad to see him go, and I know he's sad to play his last game here, but if, if we could have nine Ryan McGrooms on the team, we'd, uh, that, that's what coaching's all about. Coach, I don't, I don't know if you can put this into words, but to take your expectations uh, going into this program, what you knew of West Virginia baseball, and to see where it's at right now in terms of the fan support and obviously your success after just two seasons, uh, well, still plenty of this one to go, but what, what does this say about the program and the direction that it's heading now, what fans can expect in the future? Well, you know, a couple times I come out to coach third base and I look up on that that hillside, and it's just littered with people and every, every seat was taken. And, you know, and I, I told uh, somebody before the game, you know, just look how far we've come in such a short period of time, you know. You know, Texas comes to town and the community rallies around us. And, and I made a plea to everybody to come out here to help us win, not just to watch the game. And, and they do that because our guys are, as the crowd's filing in, you can see our guys getting excited and wanting to play in front of this many people. And, you know, hopefully this will bode well, well for, the, for the future of Mountaineer baseball because I think it's, it's pretty bright. You go to Lawrence, Kansas next weekend, another big series, a team close to you in the standings. Yeah, and they're hot right now. They're really hot. I don't know what they did today, but they beat Texas Tech the last two days. And, and Tech, their RPI was in the top ten, so Kansas is one of the hottest teams in the country. So we can't just start showing up and feel like we can beat people. we got to keep doing what we do and grinding things out. But that's a sign of a mature team and great leadership when you can stay focused on the task at hand and not get caught up in all the other stuff.